the, the uh, shuttered look.
children of the land whom you hear echoes of truths that once rang clear two souls intertwined one true love they did find bringing land and heavens near but flames that burn full bright soon fell dark memories dim by shadowed hearts in the souls cry a passion welling within sacrifice a final plea to her kin yet this bond of hope by treachery Swelling over long seas of blood are a song and death on Well, good evening, good evening, everyone. Welcome. I hope everyone's doing all right tonight. And I uh, hope that you're all ready to go on some more housing tours tonight. I have planned 
to go to the goblet this evening and uh we're gonna take a look around at the goblet we're gonna look at the the basic architecture of goblet houses and we are going to um take a look in some people's homes and hopefully we'll all have a good time um i think that you'll enjoy it and I just have to say, I know that there's a stream out there or there was a video going around that um, made the comment that everybody knows that housing in the goblet is for broke ass bitches. Well, I'm going to tell you that on our server, that is absolutely not the case because you can't buy a house on our server for love or money. I have to fix this um this lighting on my thing is really strange here hold on let me fix it because it just don't look right it's making my glasses very sparkly and shiny let's fix it <laughs> all right well that's better but now i'm a little low here let's see there you go. That's better. All fixed. So let's take a ride to the goblet. We'll, we'll just apparate there, right? <gasps> we actually have to go to Ulda first to get there. So I don't know why people are so down on the goblet. The goblet is, is beautiful. It has some really amazing views. So here we are. Here we are in the goblet. It is nighttime right now. It's actually, we just missed the sunset. Um, but we'll have to come back out and look um, when the sun comes up. And, you know, as my husband pointed out, they did actually have to rework some of the goblet um, originally because it just wasn't as nice and people didn't like it as much as the other housing zones because of some of the, the ways that they had designed it originally. But the current incarnation of the goblet is really quite pretty. Um, you know, the way the houses are laid out, they're kind of laid out in a big circle around this central area down there that's called the Brimming Heart. Um, and there's waterfalls and swimming pools, and it's really pretty lovely. Um, you know, you've got nice tile on the sidewalks here um there's really pretty desert style landscaping you got cactuses and yuccas and all kinds of cool things um you've got these breathtaking cliff views and you know maybe it's because i lived in colorado for a while i really like the mountains um i loved colorado i thought it was beautiful uh it was the kind of it was the kind of beautiful, breathtaking landscape that no matter how many times you saw it, it still just would like take your breath away. Literally just, you know, be so amazing and beautiful and awe-inspiring that, you know, every time I would drive up over the hill and be, you know, at the spot where we could, I would see down into the valley and all the mountains on the other side, I was just taken, you know, just awe inspiring every time no matter what but here we are we're in the goblet so i'm going to turn off my interface so that y'all can take a look we'll just kind of look around at some of these views um, from some of the places in the goblet uh you know the thing with some of the other housing districts like mist in particular in mist you have places that are considered more prime 
locations, prime plots, you know, and that's the case with, you know, just about any housing district. There's going to be places that are, you know, that are more desirable than others because they have a nicer view or something like that. But here in the goblet, there's actually, um, most plots are pretty nice and have pretty nice views unless you're like down in the middle of a bunch of houses but you know some people like to have a neighborhood view instead of a cliff view so like this person here their plot they see other houses they're like in the middle of the street right so this might not be such a prime plot it doesn't have any kind of cliff view um but this house right here has a pretty nice plot you know they've got a nice view they've got this kind of mountain view over on the side here they've got a mountain view um and it's pretty nice you know pretty nice plot but well, let's just take a look you know we might as well start here this might be a house that we've been in that we came in during Halloween because I think this was a haunted house. This was one of the ho houses that was a haunted house that we came to visit. I'm just going to peek inside real quick. Oh yeah, yeah. This is one of the haunted houses that we came and they've left it up and it's still a haunted house. Here's our creepy pumpkin head men. I don't think they had a guest book, if I recall correctly. I'm gonna take this twisty staircase up into the pumpkin lands. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen, we've been here before. It's pretty nice. They did a good job on this. But Halloween is over and we're not touring haunted houses today. We're gonna look at some other kinds of housing stuff today. And we've already been here, so. happened to be the one that I ended up at when I was talking about plots <laughs> all right so let's take a look around at what we can find we'll look for houses that are open let's start with this right here this is a small house I like small houses I like to see what people do with small houses little more accessible than some other kinds of housing so here we are nice plot they're not their yard is nice they've got this little outdoor picnic table thing going on here um just nice it's got stuff on it I like items that give you extra things And they've got, I, I think this is the merchant walls. I'm not exactly sure. It's not the flower shop walls because I have those. This is different. This is um, one of the merchant walls. So let's take a look inside. Oh, wait, first let's go look at their, uh, their placard so we can see where we are. And whoop. I have to turn on my interface to see. This is cats. Oh, hey, perfect. Let's start our cat house cat tours at cats. The owner is Caitlin Aideen, and it is uh, plot seven. I'm writing this down so that I can add it to the video later. Plot seven, first ward. Plot seven. All right. Welcome to Cat's Sushi Bar. This is the perfect place for cats. All right, let's go take a look. Let's go see what Cat's done here. Caitlin has done here. There we go. Oh. They're still decorated for Halloween a bit. They've got this, they've got the pumpkin tower here, but they got it turned around backwards. Maybe they just like pumpkins in general. This is pretty. So they made a little 
indoor pond to add interest to this house with the 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 fish in it and they've put some shower heads in there so there's some running water creates a nice kind of ambiance to have the sound and there's the moon behind the paper part the round portal i'm not sure what this one is i'm gonna have to look up the name of this partition but it's like a round paper partition something like that and this is the um This is like a, oh, what do they call this one? It's like a, 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 a counter. It's a verdant counter or something like that. Anyways, it's a partition that you can actually buy this from the vendor. And it's good for, uh, for storefront kind of places. You know, if you want to set up a shop, it's nice to use in any kind of kitchen. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this item is this right here these two things right you know that hold that up and the counter doesn't really fit under there it would be nicer if the counter fit underneath it but they made good use of this item in this particular instance considering this is a small house that looks really good look at that door look at that look how nice that is That is not standard. They've done some clever placement of fool's partitions here too to um, make that. We've got some ambient sounds of <laughs> someone cooking. It's pretty cool. They've got an ice box. I love the ice box. Look at how cute that is. It's got a block of ice in it and it's got food in it. super cute people go to all kinds of lengths to make refrigerators and so this last time they added housing stuff they just added in um, an ice box oh and look here's what i was mentioning last night or last uh last time in the stream that with this particular stove with those pots you can add items into the pots to make it look like they're cooking and steaming away so this one, they put a bowl of oud on and they put the roasted corn in that pot. And so you've got steaming pots of food cooking on the stove. Very cute. Real cute. They put this window over their original windows. Or maybe that is the original windows. Maybe that's what that is. Because that's the fool's partitions right there. Those are the original windows that come with this wa these walls. Oh, now that's real nice. I like that a lot. You get what you pay for. These walls are expensive. And look at how nice the windows that are part of it come. They are very nice. And the door is really nice. I like that. So if you did not know this, if you buy a set or craft a set of, of walls for your house, um, whatever you whatever doors you choose um like if you're putting it together from parts you know like riviera uh cottage wall and you know riviera door and riviera window or whatever like that you know the the way that the windows and stuff look inside the house is determined by the windows that you use and sets of walls you can't change them you can't like put whatever windows you want with you know like the mog house walls you have to t use whatever uh, is part of that design and it changes the inside. And so these walls have this particular style of window. Which looks nice. They're very nice. Some of the, the window styles on some of the houses are very small. Well, this looks nice down here too. Look how pretty. I love that color on the walls. I believe... You know, that looks to me like Rollinberry Red that they dyed the walls. I think that's really pretty. I wouldn't have thought to use that color personally, but I think it looks good. Rollinberry Red. Who would have thunk it? Oh, and check this out. This is really cute. This is really clever. No glitching required to make this really cute little ra raised sushi uh, table here. 
Um, whoops, I have to turn on my interface to sit because my chat box doesn't work without it turned on. Oh, oh, whoops, it threw me down here. Should be able to sit up here on these cushions without getting sent to the over there. Yeah, there we go. So let's look at this. What we've got here this is the troop stage. Got a troop stage. We've got four cushions that you can buy from the vendor. I think those are the Zabuton cushions. And then you have two white half partitions set side by side. And they're just the right height to create the table. And because uh, the tops of these partitions are considered a tabletop, you can put any tabletop item up there. No glitching required to do this. Um, and look how nice that looks. It's really cute. Nice job. Nice job, Caitlin. I love it. I do. And here, she did it again on this side too. So there's two of them. Really nice. This is a really nice um, rent. This is a very nicely made uh, sushi shop. And then look, we've got this beautiful counter. And let's say, let's see what they did here. Okay, so she used, um, I want to say that these are Oasis counters underneath here. They're very low. Uh, they're not really tall enough uh, to, to use on their own. But then she also used a bar counter. So that right there is a bar counter. If you look over on this side, you might even be able to see it. I believe it's there. Well, you can't see it on this side. But she's got a bar counter. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. Bar counter is stuck inside of this white half partition with the Oasis counters underneath to fill in the space. And that makes a nice little uh, countertop surface for a sushi bar. That looks really authentic. This is a really nice job. I think I think that this was a really clever, um, clever design. Lots of windows to make it nice and bright. She floated some of these uh, these hanging lanterns up in the air there, so that you know have some overhead lighting. Um, those are also purchasable from a vendor. These are little. I think that these are. I want to say these are oasis stools and these are hanging benches this looks really nice she did a very nice job here uh fool's uh, what is that one it's like the fool's portal or something i think it's a fool's portal and then that, that's purchasable from a vendor i believe and this little set of candy items up here purchasable from uh the dome and enclave vendor all in all, I give this house a 9 out of 10. This is really nice. This is really nicely done. I love it. I do. I love it. Oh, look how pretty. She dyed her little um, incensories this pretty blue color to contrast with everything else. It all looks really good. This looks lovely. Definitely would eat here. Would eat at this restaurant. Oh, look, she put wall sconces in the hall here. So th these stairways, well, I, you know, people often don't do anything with them, but you can put some decor in them. Um, you can, you could actually put another window here, and that's what I did in my house. It's a good place to put your orchestrion. I've seen a lot of people do that. I put my orchestrion in there too. So, Cat's, Cat's Sushi Bar. Love Cat's Sushi Bar. Really well done. I'm going to sign her guest book. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it. There it is. Love, 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 love it. It's great. This is perfect. Beautiful. Oh, I got to turn on my interface to do so. <laughs> love it. I adore your sushi bar. It's the perfect place 
for a cat. I live streamed my visit at twitch.tv catmas ever dreams. Check it out. Yes. Lovely house. Really well done. Let's go find another. This is so much fun. I love doing this. All right. So let's see. Nice visit to Cat Sushi Bar. Let's see. That's the house we were just in. So let's go over this way. Look at this giant blue and white house. Let's go here. It really catches your attention, that bright blue, doesn't it? That bright blue ceiling, the roof against the white. Very cool. Let's go take a look. Let's see where we are. We are at Santo Poco. Santo Poco. And let's see here. Everyone is welcome. They have a message book. book. Visitors are welcome. As they say, it's under renovation. So we'll see what they're up to. Um, this is plot 12. And it is a medium plot. So um, a little bigger than the last one, but not the biggest house you can have. This set of walls that they use make the house, I think, look bigger than it is. You know, it, it's uh, it's nice. Now, see, see these little tiny windows on the outside here. Now, when we go inside, you'll see the difference between this and the last house. It's going to have little tiny windows inside. Unless they've covered them up with bigger windows, which some people do. Some people do. Nope, they didn't bother to do that. See, see your little tiny window inside and it looks very similar to the outside. Oh, look, they've put up their Christmas tree already. I keep resisting the urge to put up my Christmas trees to decorate for Christmas. It's a little early. I like this. I like the color. Um, they've used it all, a lot of partitions here to cover up. Well, not to cover, but to um, to create extra walls. I like the um, I like the walls, the interior wall design that they chose, and I think that it looks really nice with uh, this marble floor and with the uh, the marble partitions and the color that they chose. I think it looks really good. It looks quite nice, quite nice. So let's go over here first before we go either up or down. They've got all their, their, oh, look at, so cool. So cool. They've got all of their mementos in here. Very cool. We've been through this one, just like a little office room. Let's go over to this one here and see what's in here. Got their Halloween decor out and some Christmas stuff out. This looks like a little sitting area. Um, the color scheme is really nice. This couch really matches the the walls well. That was an appropriate choice. That is South. That's not South Seas. This is the Oasis couch. This is the Oasis stuff. South Seas is puffier, fluffier. All right, let's go upstairs first. Looks good. Looks good. There's that giant table again. I got to figure out what this giant table is. These chairs are enormous. Look how tall they are next to me. Super tall. Super tall chairs.
Here's kitchen. That's a kitchen table, all right. <laughs> so they stuck two uh, of these southern kitchens together to make a longer countertop and two stoves. Very good. Very nice. It does say that they were still under construction. They're still renovating. So um, some of this may look a bit emptier, but I like their overall color scheme and uh, choices that they made so far. I think it looks pretty good. They made a nice start. We'll go downstairs. Oh, different walls down here. This is a shop and an eatery where free company members can come to hang out and get a drink, have some food, relaxation. There's a tea set with some cookies. Oh, I wish I could eat those cookies. I like, I all in all, I like what they've done so far. Everything's nicely arranged. I think that, you know, they've taken some care to um, set everything up nicely. And so here we can talk a little bit. This is a good place to look because there's not a whole lot of stuff in here and they haven't covered up these walls. Let's talk about the basic architecture of an oasis home <coughs> excuse me if you recall when we were in the lavender beds these every home has the same number of pillars on the interior walls okay and the bigger ones are in the corners and then there's these other pillars here and the ceilings all have beams that are similar the beams that are here now you remember what the, the lavender beds crown molding and baseboards look like this is what your basic oasis um, pillars crown molding and uh, baseboards all look like this is what the thing you know when you move in here it, it wouldn't have this texture on the wall it's um, it's a white and gold and I'm sure we'll see some uh, at some point and I'll point it out to you um, but yeah so that's the basics and then you have this the staircases are different in each home too in the oasis homes you have this uh, this little uh, newel post those are this, those are called a newel post at the bottom of the stairs and then you know up the the things these are all newel posts and the ones in here in the oasis are very large they're large um, I don't think that you can actually place items on top of these. Um, but I would have to confirm that. I'm pretty sure that the only way to get an item on top of that is to glitch it there. Uh, but you can't, in general, you can't place items on them. It would be kind of nice if you could, you know, put items on these little spots. You know? I would put little, like, flower vases there so that people could knock them off and break them on the steps and cut their foot and you know need a trip to the emergency room maybe it's not such a good idea huh all right so all in all i like this house i think they've done a nice job color scheme is good lighting is nice and yeah i give it i give it you know a, a, considering it's not quite done i give it an eight out of ten i like it Maybe I'm, you know, real nice, but you know, hey, let's spread some positivity in the world. What's it gonna hurt? Nothing. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right, so let's see where to go next. Well, we might as well go right across the street. Because this is a, looks like a super nice house. Look at this yard. Look how nice this yard is. This is really pretty. I love the wisteria. I love the wisteria so much. This yard is just beautiful. Just beautiful.
And they've got the same, you know, those same uh, merchant walls. So the interior, we've already seen <clears throat> what the interior uh, windows look like for that and the door. So this is really beautiful. Beautiful yard. I like this garden gravel. I think it, it really, you know, adds to the 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 beauty of your garden uh, to have some pathways that are not covered with stuff. And also, you know, hey, it makes sense and it's smart in the desert to have some rock down instead of so much grass that you got to water and mow. Who likes to mow grass? Not me. Let's take a look at... Oh, wait. <gasps> Gotta go look. Did we sign the guest book next door? Was there a guest book? First. First things first. Let's make sure there's no guest book here. I didn't see one. I always forget. I need someone to poke me. I don't see a guest book. I thought it said there was a guest book on their sign, but... There isn't. I see nothing. Well, regardless, Santo Poco, your house is great. I love it. It's very nice. <clears throat> I'm also gonna. I'm gonna use my macro here uh, to let people know that I am actually here oh whoops I need to change it to yeah I have to fix it in the macro itself I do do that was derp and this way if anyone wants Hope that works. Nope, it's not working. I can't do it. Hmm. Maybe I can just copy and paste it into the shout. Let's see. Let's see. It only lets me use one line. I'll try to get and some folks to come take a look. Right. No guest book. I couldn't find one. I hope I didn't miss it. So we're going to go next door. Let's take a look here. This is plot 11. And it is the kettle. It says they have a message book. So we'll look for that. And uh, it is owned by T. Loon. And it says, welcome to my home. Feel free to tell me if you enjoyed the space in my message book. And this is a designer home. So it says, the kettle. I'm writing that down. Plot 11. All right, so we'll go and take a look. Let's check it out. We've already discussed their yard, which is absolutely beautiful. I can just imagine that the inside is going to be really quite nice. So let's see what they've done. Okay. Ooh, okay. Well, we found one. We found one of the super difficult 
professionally designed homes. Look at this place. Let's go first person. This is beautiful. This is like aspirational housing. I don't have the patience to do this kind of design. Um, Cause just like, you know, to get those partitions to, to go in place at the stairs is just kind of crazy. So lovely, beautiful. This is really nice. Fox K would like us to visit. All right. I'll visit yours next. Thanks. All right. So we're going to visit Fox K's house after we finish here. This is really quite lovely though. I like the kitchen. They've used, uh, okay, so you see the water there. They've used the bathtub. But I, you know, I think that they may have done something else to do this. And I wanna actually uh, get out of first person so that I can take a closer look here. Uh, yep. Okay, so they did use the bathtub, the carbuncle bathtub here. But if you ever look closely at the carbuncle bathtub, that spout, the tub is actually down here. So this water level is too high to be the carbuncle bathtub water. What that is, is a mahogany aqueduct that has been floated up into the right place to create that, to create that little water in the sink um, and they've used a number of items to put this together this is the uh the southern kitchen as you see there's the stove top and there's the the pink brick from the southern kitchen um looks really nice All right, so let's go back and turn off the interface and let's just continue looking around here. All right, these are beautiful chairs. Those are chocobo chairs. I love this. They used the, the shuttered windows and some other items. Uh, I think rectangular partitions, if I'm not mistaken, to frame out parts of the window to create those windows there because there's your shutter and there's that one uh, the one side of the window. So that looks really cute. And that's something that doesn't require any glitching. It just requires placement of items. Um, to do this top row, you do have to float a rectangular partition up. So, and these are flooring mats. Um, actually, the ceiling is flooring mats. And those are some lamps, uh, some lanterns that have been floated up and turned into a... Um, into a chandelier that's not an actual chandelier that you can get they created that one i gotta shut some things down on my computer it's like this this house is intense it's kind of taxing my cpu even though i have a really good computer all the lighting and stuff this is quite pretty I really like this. Let's go take a look upstairs. I have the suspicion that this house has a lot of this house has been shut down. So you have a little living room here. You have a kitchen. Um, and most of the house isn't going to be accessible. And this is actually may not be the actual staircase. They may have built the staircase out of other objects. But maybe not. So, yeah, here's your upstairs. This is all you get to do a design like this, to have enough item budget. Um, they turned this medium house plot into um, just these few little rooms. 
because it takes a lot of items to do this kind of design. It's really beautiful. This is really lovely. Pretty little bed. But you can use a feather bed and um, that is the folded futon at the bottom. Which is a craftable item and it's a tabletop item. You can actually put it up on a loft without um, having to float it. But this is this is just the upper story of the house. So all in all, this is really beautiful. Really well done. Really, this was this this is one of those designs that took so much patience and so much work to do. It's really lovely. Really lovely. I don't see their guest book. I'm looking for it. I wonder if it's out in the yard. Let's see. I don't see a guest book here anywhere. Where is it? I hope it's out in the yard. Let's go take a look and see if we can find the guest book. Is there a dodo book here anywhere? I'm not seeing it. The only problem with all these trees is that they obscure stuff. I don't see the guest book. Well, that's sad. I wonder if it got full and they just removed it. Because I don't see a message book here anywhere. Or I would definitely leave a message for this person. So I'll just give them a, a plug here. If you are interested in looking at this house in person, it's really nice. Plot 11, first ward of the goblet on Aether data server, Midgard Sarmer. Take a look at it. Owner is T or Tia, I'm not sure. Tia Loon, really beautiful. Love your house. Wish I could find a message book in there, but I didn't see it, so. Next, we are off to the goblet at 8796. So, 8796. Let's see if we can figure out where that is. It's probably plot 10, I'm going to guess. Oh, so it's right next door. No? Not this one. Where is it? Maybe this one over here. Oh, yep, here we are. This is the house of Box K. Beautiful. It's a sanctum, a tavern, and an eatery. And I'm going to write this down on the list. This is Owner's Box K, plot number eight. And the name of it is the Foxhole. Awesome. Let's take a look. Let's go look at the yard first. I love it when it rains in game. It's so pretty. It's the forge, so they've got, you know, extra stuff in their yard. Forge is so cool. Check it out. Lots of fire. I love it. Who told you that housing in the goblet was for broke ass bitches? They were lying. I'm going to have to slightly turn down my video settings or something because something is making me lag out. I'm not sure what's going on here. Let me make sure that I have everything else shut down. Okay, that's better. I'm not sure what was going on there. Alright. 
So this is a nice yard. Let's go on up. Oh, it's not open. I'm going to have to miss whisper the person. They're going to have to um, unlock it if they want me to, to go in and tour. gets back to me. Free company house. Okay. Which one next door? If it's the one with the blue roof, I've been in there. <laughs> down here. Okay, I'm going to follow her. Now show me where. Oh, okay. Up here. Oh! <laughs> I've been here. Just tell her, you know, Fox, let me know when um, your house is ready. Let's go see what she wants me to see. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna panic. That's crazy. <laughs> oh dear. I'm in, I'm on fire. <laughs> Oh, whoops, I went through the wall. <laughs> the things you learn. Right, we gotta go off and find another place to look at let's see I used to have a house in the got in the goblet it was the original place that my house was and then I moved from the goblet from one goblet plot to a second goblet plot and then I moved to mist when I was able to get a nice place in this. You know, I'm going to switch scenes and see if this is better. Let's see if that's better frame rate wise. Might be. Looks like it. I think the animated background um, is hard. It's hard on the computer. I may have to rethink whether or not I like this. 
this theme that I'm using if it's going to make my frame rates go crazy. Oh, everything's on maximum. I'm just going to change it to high. Let's see if that helps. Yep. That might be better. All right. So here we are. We're looking at this next house. They do have a guest book. This is pretty. Where are we? We are at the bed and brothel. Well, it looks like we struck gold. The bed and brothel. And this is plot six. So let's go take a look. Let's go look at the bed and brothel. It, they don't have any tags, but it does say business in front, party in the back. So it's like the mullet of houses, I guess. If this retainer is any indication of what's inside, boy, we're in for a treat. Let's go. Check it out. Here we are. We're going to turn that off. And we're going to go first person. We're going to take a look around. They've made a pool table. Um, that's pretty cool. Pool table. All right. That's very clever. I'm not even sure what they used to make that. But it's obviously some kind of stage or some. Maybe it's hanging sideboards with something around it. I'm not sure. Oh, Ro, mommy. Please give me a drink. I'm so thirsty. And you look like a tall drink of water. South Sea's couch and chair. See the difference between those? The colors are a little different. These are a little bit more puffy than the Oasis couch and chairs. They're both very nice. Really nice, um furniture for your home let's see what's behind this curtain can i go behind this curtain oh i can't what's going on there oh it's the stairs why can't i go down that hmm i'll figure that out supermodel keeping the the till let's go upstairs can we go through here oh yes we can upstairs oh this is pretty so now that's the alpine wall oh hey hi joe thanks for visiting excellent this house is so cool look at these walls that's real pretty matches nicely with the uh with the rest of the decor let's take a look in these rooms ah well here we are first room in the bed and brothel is a glade room apparently with a really pretty little dragon girl <laughs> I'm assuming that every one of these rooms is going to be like a very well appointed bedroom with a cute girl in it that you can buy things from because they're all vendors Oh, look here. This one has a shower, a bathtub, and a snake lady. Yeah, yikes is right, huh? Little scary there. What do you think, Joe? Want to come to this bed and brothel? Get a bath and a massage from the snake lady. I mean, there's like the towels and all the massage oils and everything. You have so many questions? Me too, but I don't know if I want the answers. Okay, so, oh, here, oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
they went completely love hotel with the uh with the cat girl room she's such a cute cat girl too oh and she's so willing to sell you her wares yes valentine's day did throw up in here and in fact that bed and this chair um those are from the valentine's event in fact um yeah this is uh this is something else this is something else here i'm gonna have to you know lay down on this big hard bed you can and not only that i don't know if you noticed something about this bed this bed fits three people <laughs> this is a three-person bed not a two-person bed this one is for the party All right. Well, we have to go downstairs still. Let's go check out the downstairs. We'll see. We'll see what's going on down there. I know it is awfully brave of me to go down after what I've seen so far, but you know, I'm going to do it. I volunteer as tribute. Oh, this is where all the magic happens apparently this is they have a crystal tower pole <laughs> more pillows means more pillows for me not more bodies in the bed <laughs> I, I don't know if everyone in Aorzea shares that sentiment <laughs> Liz, I'm just not sure. But, you know, hey, check it out. I, I, I know. Yes, as my husband has pointed out, this pole is awfully dangerous. I think that you might lacerate your thighs on that. yeah so this is a cool stage i mean i think that they made this really cute oh look here's backstage let's take a look at yes pillow distribution is a hot topic in eorzea apparently look at this cool backstage room here you can come over here and do your makeup and there's all your jewelry and there's there's your dress for when you're done dancing naked you know obviously she's not dancing on the stage in that costume I mean, maybe they have a troop of girls that dances in those little robes, but you know, I'd have to come when they're uh, in operation to be sure. So all in all, I think this is a really, <laughs> this is very creative. Oh, wait, there's still more. What do you want to bet that this little private lap dance rooms back here? Oh yeah, check it out. Have a seat. This person who designed this has obviously been in one of these places before to be able to design it in such detail. Not one, not two, but three private showrooms here. It's just for me. <laughs> this is so funny. This is, you know, super creative, super creative. I wonder if they like actually hold events here. There's a, yeah, this is like the champagne room. Yes. Um, so I don't know if you've heard Joe, but there's actually people who do ERP and they throw events in their free company houses or in their personal houses and they like charge people guild to come in and there's live players who will you know erp with you at these events well i agree i i agree with you dan uh, yes i will i'm gonna take you outside and i'll show you <laughs> 
<laughs> show you the rest. Of okay, so we have to sign their guest book. Um, I'm not really sure what to say. I'm not really sure what to say. This was this is really amazing. I'm gonna sign. It. <laughs> Don't sign it with your real name, he says. <laughs> I don't have a choice. It's a lovely establishment. Yes, indeed. This is a lovely establish establishment you have here. I live streamed my tour on Twitch TV at Miss Evergreens. I'll give you some publicity. <laughs> All right. Onward and upward, folks. <laughs> Let's see what's next. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting that. You just never know what you're going to find when you go out roaming around. Hey Liz, can you click the follow button on your on Twitch? I would so appreciate it. I'm working on getting enough followers to make affiliate. One of these days it'll happen. Yay! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Let's see, we've been around here. We haven't gone in this house. This one's open. Oh, here's a carbuncle house. We'll go visit. Our free company house is also a carbuncle house. Let's see where we are. We are at House Goldleaf. And it is plot 10. Write this down so I don't forget. Plot 10. and mind the books it says okay so i suspect there's going to be a bunch of books in here let's see what we've got we've got topiary cactuar that's the topiary moogle that's been kind of stuck inside of this hinkin hot spring for some purpose i'm i'm guessing maybe they just like the way it looked with the little green thing in there swimming pool movie stars Oh, you're welcome. I'm I'm I am really impressed with your talent. Um Liz, I, I really your art is so beautiful. I just have to tell you in person. Um really impressed with your with the cards that you do. Those are so amazing. I love it. I love them. Okay. Here we go. This is kind of this is a much busier house than some. They have got a lot of stuff in here. Yep, tiny canvases. Tiny canvases are good. You can do them quicker. And, you know, they're cheaper too. <laughs> yep, this place has got a lot of knickknacks. And, you know, this is the difference between one of the houses I went to earlier and this house is that they have not put up partitions. They haven't, like, you only get a certain number of items that you can place in a house. It's, there's a limit. And it's house the size, it's 200 can put 200 items and you know the partitions that people like to put up to cover up the walls so that they don't have all these pillars in you know in their home um you know I, I think it takes like four of them to go across this wall here and so you can easily use up 20 items in your house or or more by just you know trying to cover up the walls so that you don't have pillars yep Yep, that, as Daniel reminds me, there was a time when you only had 100 items and, it, you know, there was no basement, I guess, in the small houses. So they've improved things. So they have a lot of stuff in here. They've got some really cute things. There's a the chocolate fountain and all these little cake trays and snacks. 
all the little food items from all the different holidays. That's from, uh, I believe that one's from Christmas. And they've got their little toys here. The little bunnies are so cute. Look at how cute they are. They're so bright. Bright colors. Movable couch, carbuncle furniture. We've got more stuff here. This is our tribute to Harsha Front, everyone's favorite, favorite ish guardian. I'm not going to tell you anything about Harsha Front. Joe, don't ask. You'll find out. Oh, there's our tribute to Hildebrandt and uh, Mahakaraka. <laughs> I know it's Nashua. Nashua, Mahakaraka, and Inspector Hildebrand, everyone's favorite goofy detective. And here's our holiday posters. I love it. I love the art. They're so nice. Doll shelf. That's one of my favorite furniture items. It's so pretty. They've just got like a lot of stuff going on in here. Tons of books. I like their house. This is this looks like a house that somebody has spent a lot of time collecting everything to put in here. You know, it's like this is like this is like a grandma's house. Your grandma would have this house and have all of her little things knickknacks out on the shelf. You know, here we got, you know, another shelf with more stuff, more, sh you know, we got shoes and knickknacks. And hats. Because, you know, why not? Why not? Oh, oh, and look who it is. It's their boyfriend. That's right. It's a picture of the boyfriend. It's it's everyone's boyfriend, Estinian. These three girls are obviously having a very, very important conversation that I had better not interrupt. I don't want to interrupt their girls' night out. All right. So, cute house. Cute house. I love all their stuff. They're obviously very proud of all their things. So, we should go out and sign their guest book. I wish I could eat that cake. Mm -mm -mm. I love strawberry shortcake. I'm going to take a break for just a minute after I sign this guest book. Where was it? I know I saw it. Was it inside or outside? But I saw one here. Hmm. It's inside, maybe. Just like hidden in all the knickknacks. I gotta look again. Where is it? Where is that guest book? That's where I saw it. Ugh. Oh dear. Not there. down here mm, maybe not maybe they don't have a guest book gosh darn it I thought they did anyways cute house with all this stuff they could fit one more item in here or maybe they can't maybe they're full and they can't put in a guest book because you know they'd have to get rid of some treasured object in order to put the guest book in super cute so what time is it it's eight o'clock we still got time i'm gonna take a momentary break and i'll be right back
All right. I have returned. How is the sound? Does everything sound all right? Can you hear the background music at all or not? Okay. And my voice isn't too loud or too quiet. <laughs> yeah, I, this game has a lot of really cool music and there's an item that you can put in your house uh, and then you can gather scrolls, orchestrion scrolls, so that you can play the music in your private residence or in your free company house. Um, and you can make playlists and, uh, and set, I think you can put like eight songs on your playlist. Oh, look, this right here. We're going to go take a look at this little house over here. This little house over here is... This is Goblet Classic. This is like the what the architecture... Originally, when they first put these housing districts in, there were district-specific housing styles. Like, you could only use Oasis Walls. In the goblet and you could only use glade walls in the lavender beds um, but they've opened it up now so that there's a lot more variety uh, like you can see you've got a moogle house there and we've seen a lot of really different kinds of crazy things but this is the original oasis style home um, this is what it looked like back in the day this is the only thing that you could build in this zone was a house that looked like this pretty much. I mean, there were different styles, but it was all the same basic aesthetic. So let's take a look, see whose house is this. This is Rick's Maddie's house. It's the Outcast Manor. Outcast Manor. And this is plot one. Oh, plot one. Yeah, they're right next to the vendor. Sanctum and visitors welcome. So this is their sanctuary. Let's see what they got going on Small house plot You can still do a lot of nice stuff with a small house plot. Oh Here we've got the Alexander theme song from the Alexander raid going on here It's all very stone a stone aesthetic stone wall Stone floor, stone pillars. I like this furniture. This is the Oasis chairs. They're nice. Mason work stove for more stone on top of your stone. Tank schematics. Americk. AKA Lamerick, Astinian, Harshafront, everyone's favorite ish guardians, all three in a row. And then we've got, we've got Seed Seer Mommy, and we've got Lala Mommy and Daddy, and we've got Ro Mommy. Oh, and look, it's Ida and Papa Limo. I like this bed. You can actually go up this ladder as, yep, to get up on the top bed. I like the top bunk. Top bunk is mine. You can sleep in it too. It's a cute bed. Look, it's got little squirrels on it with nuts. <laughs> yeah, next level HOA. I lived in a house with an HOA once. Do not recommend. Gave them a bunch of money every month so that they could give us a bunch of trouble every month. <laughs> oh, they've got another little room here. Let's see what they did here. It's the bathroom. And these people were smart. They realized that in Eorzea, you need a bath, but you don't need a toilet. So you can get clean or just chill in the tub, but you know, we don't have other bodily functions. Yeah, we don't need towel. Well, I mean, you know, you can bring your towel with you. 
Look at this edgelord. Look at his glasses. All right. And then they've got a Lollafell too. Well, this is a cute house. I like it. I like the stony walls. I like this, you know, whole kind of rocky aesthetic here and the rock and music. Well done. They don't have a guest book. No one's got guest books here. I keep looking for them, but there's just not very many. Well, let's take a look at another house. And then we'll go and look at apartments in the um, the Sultana's Breath. So we'll kind of we're gonna go down by the Brimming Heart because I want to show you all the center. Um, here's one of the tunnels in which you might get mugged in the dark. There are others, but this housing district is actually pretty cool the way it's designed. You know, there's lots of stairs. There's lots of tunnels. That's one of the longer tunnels. I think there's one tunnel that's longer than that. So this is the very center of town. This is what they call the Brimming Heart. And this is like every, every housing district has its little special feature. Um, Shiragani has a hot spring. Um, Mist has the beach and it also has the, the Admiral's Water Spire, which is like a big, tall fountain thing um, and this is the special item or special um, place that this housing district has and uh, you know it's kind of like a gathering place in the center of town they've got this pretty little fountain going on and then they've got this outdoor bar where you can come and get blitzed in the hot sun uh, you know and then drown in the pool or uh, you know get a really bad sunburn sitting at one of these you know on one of these chairs here at the bar but all in all I think it's really pretty I love the tiles how bizarre how bizarre yes <laughs> check this guy out Papa look at you you're a big you're a big beefy man aren't you indeed So this is the the uh, hub here, which I think is really actually quite pretty. It's really nice. And then there's a waterfall over there. So these would be your prime plots here. These little these ones that are like around the brimming heart. Kind of your your prime real estate. I think it's really quite pretty. That's what the larger goblet houses look like. Uh, the one that we went into was a small one, and there's another small one. A lot of these may have been ones that people um, bought early in the game. Because right now, like, you can't buy anywhere. <laughs> you can't buy anything anywhere on this server right now. So let's take a look at this little house here. Let's see, where are we? We are at, whoops, I gotta turn on my interface. This is the roost. And it is plot 20. The Roost. Writing it down. Plot 20. And their message says, Feel free to rest your feet in our home. Just try not to get dirt on the carpet. Oh, and mind the chocobos. They bite. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look. It's a cute small yard. You can't really do a whole lot with a small yard because you don't get many items. You get 20 items and everything, you know, a garden plot counts as one. The aetherite counts as another. A mailbox, that's three. So there you're already down to 17 items and that's all you got so far. But it can be real cute still. So I like the, the um, these walls that they used. I think it's like one of the, like the armor or something. I'd have to look it up. Oh boy. Let's not get catfished if we can help it. <laughs> They've got the Namazu crew. This is cute. They did a nice job. It looks super cute. I like the I like this um 
the walls and the windows and the doors that they chose. Uh, it looks nice. Those are nice windows. Another Ifrit. We got a lot of the holiday stuff here. This is a free company house because that door is, is the door to rooms and we'll take a look in those too. Poster from the uh, Midsummer Festival. We go downstairs. Nanamo. My Chihuahua is named Nanamo after this person. This is the Sultana of Alda. She's a very key character. Joe, you've probably met her already. That's the Elder Seeds here. Canny Senna. Oh, Goldfish, you look lonely. Fireplace. They, they've done some glitching to get that behemoth head up on the fireplace. It's not hard to do, though. That's not like a super hard glitch. It's pretty cool. I like to put stuff up on my fireplace, too. Because normally you can't just place it up there. You have to use a... You're a fan of the Elder Seeds here. Isn't she cute? She's very pretty. She's very sensible. Very level-headed. Yeah. She's kind of a hippie. You know? I don't know. Maybe she's, you know, smoking up after hours. But, you know, whatever. Gotta keep her happy. There's another catfish with some cookies. Look at these cookies. They're Spriggan cookies. And ginger cookies and little waffle cookies. Oh yes, catfish. Don't look at me like that. That's kind of creepy. I like this downstairs. This is a nice little place for your free company folks to hang out. Bathtub. Just in case you're dirty. Just want to relax. With some girly posters. More pictures of Nanamo. Yeah. And there's... <laughs> Everyone loves Hildebrand and Nashua. She's a midnight toker. Yeah, probably. Cute picture. There's a cute picture of... Uh, there, it's Nanamo and it's uh, Pippin and all of the... Uh, and Lalarito and the, the, the guys from the... The Thaumaturge's Guild. Very cute. Appropriate to have in a house in this zone because this is Alda's housing district. So I, I like that they used um, they used some of these Oasis pillars. I really think the Oasis style stuff is nice. I You know, some people hate it. It's the least popular of all the housing districts, but that doesn't stop it from being completely full on our server because there's the only available housing on our server um, is in apartment buildings or free company rooms. There, you'll never see a house go for sale, probably. Uh, we just have too many people. There will be another housing district put in, but I guarantee you that every single plot will be sold within the first like hour of it being um, in, except for the ones that they're going to put up for uh, on the lottery. They are going to have a certain number of plots that are only available by um, being in the lottery to win the lot. And that's their solution to, like, the, the sh shortage of housing. <laughs> but, I mean, I understand this is this takes a lot of resources, you know, a lot of server resources to, to host so much housing for players. There are apparently half a million homes um, in housing districts uh, game-wide and that doesn't count um, all of the apartments and free company rooms too. So there's lots of housing in this game. They didn't have a guest book I don't think. I didn't see one. Nope. No guest book. Folks, please put guest books in your yard. I would love to sign your guest book. Let's check this place out. This is the S&M Chateau. Oh, boy. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in this housing distri district here. And it is plot 19. There's no greeting. I 
and apparently it is owned by Spirit Bondage. <laughs> Symphony and Metallica, uh, Spirit Bondage s and I guess. I don't know. Maybe Metallica? Let's go in. Let's find out. Ooh. Well, now this looks nice. This looks real nice. It is kind of a club. It looks like a venue kind of a thing. You know, here's VIP seating over here on one side. And there's a bar. Oh, look at this. This is so nice. Yeah, it's very classy. I agree. This is pretty. Really, really well done. Oh, and they do have a guest book. It's very nice. Very nice. Let's take a look downstairs. Lilies. They managed to put an item on there. Apparently, I guess you can <clears throat> glitch them up there. Oh, look. Here we've got gambling machines from the Gold Saucer. We've got Cuff Occur. I think this is like the basketball one. And this is the one where you like hit the thing. You hit the, the thing with the mallet and the cactuar goes flying up. And then here's another little stage and you can sit here and play triple triad. So this is, whoa. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. These speakers, they made giant speakers out of, um, it's a cabinet. I'm not sure which one, but it would be easy enough to, you could use any tall cabinet like this, but they use like the, the, that's like the Admiral's wheel that they kind of sunk into the cabinet to make a speaker. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Moogle clock. This is really nice. Quite nice. Well done. I like those windows. We've ripped Titania's wings off. Everyone's ripped her wings off. Poor thing. I love this. I like the little lights. Good gracious. What did they do to do that? That is so cool. So fancy. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to figure out how they did that. It's a challenge. I like it. Good job. I think we, I think there's still an upstairs. Yep. There's still an upstairs that we haven't gone into. So, so far I really like this house. It's very stylish. Oh yes. Look at this upstairs. Ooh, fish tank. Big Marlin. I love the seating. These lamps are the great Google library lamps and they are really nice. They're expensive to make and I can see why because they look really nice and people like them a lot. So getting the item to make them is a bit pricey. That is a cool fish up there. I don't know what kind of fish that is. I'm going to have to do some investigating. hot tubs. Two of them. This is very nice. Very nice. One little bright spot in the house. They've got the windows there for a little, a little mood lighting. This is lovely. Nice job. Well done. Spirit bondage. I like your house. This is good. I'm going to sign your guest book. Hopefully there's room in their guest book. This is awesome. I love it. Love, love. Love this house. So classy. I toured it on my live stream. You can see it at 
twitch.tv Katniss Evergreens. I will have a highlight of your home up tomorrow. Uh, up soon. There. Perfect. Yes. So classy. So classy. Nice job. Well done, Spirit Bondage. This is inspiring. They did a real nice job, and they did very little glitching to do this. This is, you know, mostly... I mean, they did have to float these couches up using a loft. Um, but they didn't do tons of, they, they didn't do weird things like floating partitions up from the ceiling, you know, from the, the basement through the, the floor and stuff like that. They just kind of used basic items to do this. This looks real nice. I like it. It's accessible, it's doable, it's not something that's so hard to do that you could never do it like the one of the first houses that we looked at was was much more difficult to to execute. That house that we were just in there, that most people would be able to actually do that. It would take a little time, but that's a that's a, a possible design. Well, all right. We have time for one more house and then we're gonna take a look at a few apartments and that will be the end of the night so we have to choose do we want to see the little floral flower shop house or do we want to see Ooh, I want to see this house this is cool look at their pretty yard and their fence I love it it's purple it's so purple awesome and look at their topiaries very nice Let's see, whose house are we at? It is open to the public, gotta make sure. This is Morgana Stardiver's house. It's Morg's Potion Shop. Very nice, very nice. And it is plot 17, so I'm writing that down. In my notebook, awesome. It says it's under renovation. Well, we'll take a look anyway, and we won't we won't judge. The outside of your house so far is so nice, so nice. I love this little, I love the wooden deck, and this color looks nice. I like it, very good. Let's take a look inside. Ooh. Another nice one. Oh, I love this. This is good. Let's turn off the interface and go first person. Take a take a slow walk around. Well, that looks nice. That's a nice use of that fountain. Nicely placed. I like that. Oh, she's got them all over the place. Oh, look at that. I love it. Oh, so cool. I love it. I have to do the thing where I say I love it. Love, 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 love. I love it. There's the hearts. There they go. You get hearts. This is great. That is a very cold looking fish tank with some blue discus in it. Nice. It's a barrel with a lot of, uh, a lot of little, um, bottles on it. Very cute. You know, and one of the things that you'll notice in this house, like like the other houses that don't have partitions covering up their walls. They've just used a standard, the standard walls um, so they can have more items. And they've made good use of items like these shelves that have stuff on them already. <clears throat> um, this is beautiful. This is a very nice potion shop. This is very well designed. Oh, they've used like the ever melting ice partition and um, that's a mahogany aqueduct they've kind of floated those up into space there to create this kind of cool frosty watery looking wall that's kind of cool nice placement of this object for effect in the light they made good use of the lighting and their space that they have this all looks really nice real pretty 
Nice room. Mounted bookshelf. Looks good. There's a guest book. Excellent. We'll sign their guest book. This is a nice house. I love it. Yeah, it's like an over the stove accent backsplash. Yes. Oh, look, this is where she brews her potions. This is so witchy. I like it. <laughs> that book is so enormous. That's the Necrologos. It's a huge book. I can't, I, I, you know, I find it difficult to find a place to put it in my house, but gosh, I am so inspired by this. This is so nice. I love it. That's the alchemy crafting station that was like from the original ARR crafting items. Um, it looks perfect here. And there's another one of those never melting ice walls. And those are beds. Those are the, she like floated beds up into the air to do this. That's the end of some beds. Huh. <laughs> I like it. This looks uh, nice with the little windows and the plants up out the ceiling. It takes a lot of books to brew these potions. All those potions up there. A lot of recipes. This is a really well thought out and well planned um, housing design. It's very intentional with um, the placement of things like books and parchment and scrolls and other objects, um, you know? Like, I can just see a, a, a witch sitting here brewing potions, you know? Dropping the scroll down there for later. Yeah. Really nice. Very well done. I love this house. I love every house I go in. Even the ones that other people might think are just kind of dumb. I, you know, I appreciate the time that everybody spends um, to decorate their home. You know, to put a little of themselves in, and to do something that makes them feel happy. And that's what it's about. And so I hope that everyone feels happy um, when they go looking around in people's houses. Go, do it. It's not breaking and entering if the door isn't locked. <laughs> All right, this is lovely. I like this house quite a lot. This is, I, I feel really inspired. I, and now I wanna tear my house apart, but I'm not gonna do it. Not this week. Let's see, where is their guest book? I know I saw one. What's over here? Here we are. Love, love, love. OMG, I love this so much. I toured it on my live stream. You can see the tour at twitch.tv Katniss Ever, whoops, Evergreens. I will make a highlight of this house. Lovely. All right. Yeah, really. This is this is so awesome. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, we're going to go take a look in the apartment building. This apartment building, like the uh, the one in the first ward of the lavender beds, is also completely sold out. Um, every house is, every every room is sold. Um, but that's not the case for the, the higher wards. There are 30 wards per housing district. And there's also a subdivision. And each, that is like, so it's basically, you have... Uh, the goblet and then you have the goblet subdivision which is identical in structure to this one which doubles the amount of housing per ward so there's really I mean it's like 60 houses per di per ward times 30 wards and then there are I think a hundred rooms in each apartment building so that's a, 
there's a lot of housing in this game. There's a lot. There's a lot of material for me to continue looking at people's places. I could do this for the rest of my life and probably never see everyone's house. That's sad. That makes me sad. I want to see everyone's house. Oh, listen to the song that plays while I'm on this mount. It's Lakshmi's song. I'm gonna have to get the orchestrion scroll for this. All right, let's go take a look at some apartments. Go to. I like to view people's apartments because apartments are accessible, affordable housing. So this is our accessible and affordable housing section of the show. Let's go and check out Craney and Sorob's room. Oh, well, he's very minimalist. He just has a vendor in here. Very nice looking vendor. Well, not much to see in this one. Let's go to the next. So, whose is open? A cozy apartment. This one has, this is a designer room. A cozy apartment, perfect for private nights and visitors and couples welcome. You have concerns about this apartment? I know. This poor vendor guy, he's just like standing here all alone. I'm like, what does he eat? There's not even a refrigerator here. There's no bathroom. There's nothing. So let's, oh, this one has a guest book too. So we're going to go to Rowan Volte's room. Let's take a look and see what's going on in Rowan's room. It's an abandoned attic somewhere. Yeah, I know it really is like that. Oh, hey, here we are. Oh, this is a very nice apartment. Let's try to... These smaller rooms are a little more difficult to view when they are full of items. Just because of the way, you know, the camera in this game works. But, you know, we'll go first person and we'll kind of back up into a corner here so that we can look at the other side of the room. I like the red... I like the red theme. This is really quite nice. Quite nicely done. There's their guest book. I like the way they use these Oasis counters in front of the, the low bookshelf um, to kind of make it a countertop. And they kind of put their retainer bell and uh, uh, other stuff in here, which is kind of cool. That's the crystal bell to summon the hairstylist. You gotta sleep on the Well, no. We could have another room. Let's see if there's a bedroom. Yes, indeed. There's the bedroom. And this is very nice. It looks cozy. It looks comfortable. It is very nice. And that is the cabinet that they used to make the speakers in the in the uh, S and M house, turned around backwards with the, uh, admiral's wheels sunk into the back. That's how they did that. Very nice. This is a very nice room. Oh, and they've even got a bathtub. And they see, look, they've got towels. This one was thinking about that, Joe. They don't want to get into their bed all wet nice apartment and this is just a single room this is the same size as the room that you can get in the free company house um, the free company room is 300,000 gill uh, to get an apartment it's 500,000 gill so if you want to have an apartment or a bedroom in the free company house you gotta start saving up some money although you know probably if you need money we could loan you money or just give you money and not even call it a loan we just give you money um, if you want your own your own private room this is nice I like it good job let's sign their guest book all right they actually have had quite a lot of visits look at that they've got you know how many pages uh, several pages of visitors that's a lot for an apartment people don't usually come and visit apartments 
You shall panhandle enough gill. You won't have to panhandle any gill. <laughs> we'll teach you how to make money in this game. It's not hard. This is a lovely apartment. Very cozy and classy. I toured it on my live stream. You can see the video at twitch.tv Katniss Evergreens. Love it. Well done. Here we go. All right. Oops, let's go see another room. Time to look at a couple more. This is, you know, I, I am always just kind of, you know, I'm always impressed with people's creativity uh, with the with the housing. You know, really, you know, people do some really cool things. Should we check out Bear Daddy's room? <laughs> He's your friendly leather daddy. Let's go see. Let's go see what his room looks like. He's in the Praetorium right now, so he won't walk in and scare us with his big leathery self. Well, this looks nice. This looks nice. I think that it might still be under construction. I suspect that he probably wants to put some vendors back there. It looks like he's still under construction a bit. This room, yeah, he's still under construction. He's working on it. I like it so far. I think he got a good start. Leather Daddy. Keep up the good work. I'll come back in a, you know, a, someday and take a look to see if it's finished. Let's see. Cora Bellvale. Her room is open doesn't have any kind of indication of what it is ah it is mostly unfinished they've started working on it well I guess really just this room isn't quite done but this is what the this is what the standard um, goblet interior looks like you get this is the wall that it comes with so you get this kind of crown molding like that you get the baseboards like this you have these wooden and stone pillars and you have this wall with the gold and the two-tone kind of creamy beige and tan um, stuff with a little decoration on it. It's kind of nice. I mean, it's a nice interior. People, opt, you know, usually opt to change it up instead of keeping it this way. All right, let's take a look at another room. I have time for a few more rooms so let's go up a floor Shh, you'll scare the fish oh wait look what happens in 18 stays in 18 I guess we have to go to room 18 there ain't nothing happening in here I feel like I was tricked I was tricked into visiting this room like all of the furniture is pushed up against the wall here for some reason maybe you know they do something nefarious in this big open space I don't know it's possible maybe they're still just remodeling I don't know anyways sometimes the descriptions on the room is the best thing about them <laughs> let's go to another room let's see what else is going on here Oh, that's Fox K's room, but it's not open. Let's see. This is a this one says that it's a designer room. It's the Hollyhock. And it is the private quarters of a liaison of Gradania currently stationed in Ulda. It says it's an immersive experience, a designer home, and they have a message book. Alright. We'll go take a look at the Hollyhock. Oh boy. Okay. 
this is this is an immersive experience that is some very bright yellow wallpaper now this is interesting I like it okay so let's see these are these are oriental wall scrolls or hanging wall scrolls so we should be able to walk through oh my goodness we go inside and on the walls are these blue skies I have to what is going on here oh it's a marble rug <laughs> so this is just like you know what this is this is the outside you've come outdoors it's their porch it's like their little balcony this is your balcony and that's your view all right let's take a look over at the other side I like this you know I like this assortment of different colors here you know it reminds me of the um, kind of my grandmother was Polish and so uh, it's like the the and she was she was born in Czechoslovakia um, and Ukraine she lived in Ukraine and and this is kind of reminiscent of the stuff from you know those Slavic countries these this kind of assortment of colors and patterns so let's go in here oh look there's their bed this is their little bed chambers can you all hear my husband snoring he fell asleep on the beanbag chair behind me I don't know if you can hear it if my mic is picking it up or not Okay, so this is cute. I like the way that they use these um, hanging wall scrolls, um, like curtains, like a screen. That's pretty cool. The, it's very eclectic, this color scheme, and I'm not a fan of mustard yellow, but this it, it works in an odd way. It works. You can't hear it, but you're going to razz them. Okay. <laughs> oh, look. Here we go. And this is the bathroom where the tub is. And they've got some little rice cakes um, there. Little rice pops. Very cute. And they used, um, this is a holiday item with this little screen on it. It's like a, it's a doll shelf, a doll display. I have one. It's very cool actually. I like what they did here. This is this is really cute. Nice job. I wanted to hate the green and yellow wallpaper, but I can't hate it because I think it works. And there's their guest book. Whoops. I'll give them a like and I'll leave them a, a message. For this apartment on my live stream you can see the video at well done well done I have time for one more apartment and then I have to think about getting ready for bed we get up really early because Daniel has to be at school early so let's look at one more apartment let's see Mao Chan's what does his thing say it's a tavern and a venue all right well we'll go take a look at Mao Chan's room It's a venue, it's a tavern, it's a small little place. It's just a simple design. This is cute. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Just a cute little room. All right, so that one doesn't have much to look at, so we can go look at another one. We'll take a look at one more, one more. 
let's see pay by the minute minimum what pay the pay by the minute minimum of five minutes no refund refunds clean up your own mess in the house of love oh boy okay well we'll go we'll go to the house of love for our last thing oh dear what is going on here <laughs> it's just the big three person dead clean up your own mess pay by the minute five minute minimum Okay, so that one didn't take a long time to see. We'll take a look at one more then. <laughs> Once I get started, I don't want to stop on these because there's it's so some of them it's just so funny. I mean, people are obviously doing stuff to be funny. Let's see. Circuit Ring. It's a company workshop. Circuit's seasonal warehouse. Shoving junk in Ulda so it doesn't pollute the high property value areas. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll go take a look. I think it's probably like our secret room of shame. Oh my gosh. Yes, look at this. There's a guest book. <laughs> look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> it is full. Every kitschy holiday item in the game. This is someone's, the, yes, this is their storage unit. This is where they keep all of their holiday stuff going to auction. <laughs> awesome. This person has obviously been playing the game from the start because they seem to have, like, every holiday poster and item. Oh, yeah. And it's all in this one room all of it at the same time three hundred and sixty five days of holidays every day is a holiday look at this little look at this little salad and soup it's a fat chocobo soup bowl with a little salad around it and look at these little there's little deviled eggs that have little chicken heads in it, little chocobo heads in it. So cool. There, well, that's the last house. I'm gonna sign their guest book. This is, this is a, Daniel, look. They made your whole, this is your dream house. <laughs> All right. Oh, and this is the coffin is open and they've actually just got like a little stuffed toy inside of it. You can actually lay down in here, I believe. Yes. If it's your own room, you can actually lay down in it and then close the, close the coffin on top of yourself inside the bed. Yep. Seriously. Here, this is actually, I should just, I should play dead. Play dead in the coffin. Now there's actually a corpse in there. <laughs> you give coffins a bad name. All right, where did I see that guest book? It's hidden in the junk somewhere. Oh, I was standing on it. There it is, in the egg pile. All right, I'll give them a like. This room filled my heart with joy. It filled my heart with holiday joy. To overflowing. I toured this on my live stream. You can see it at twitch.tv Katniss Evergreens. Very cute. All right. Well, I want to thank everyone for coming. If you are watching and you have not yet, um, if you're watching this after the fact or you're watching a highlight, you know, um, click the follow button so you get notifications whenever I come online and start going and poking around in people's houses again. More breaking and entering coming up in the 
days ahead. Uh, people are going to start decorating for the holidays, and so things should get more interesting. Uh, although, I don't know how you get much more interesting than this. Uh, it was really fun tonight, and I hope that you all have a lovely evening. Thank you for stopping in. Don't forget to drink water and take your meds and all the things that you need to do to take care of yourself. Take a break, have some fun, spread some positivity, and have a great night. Exactly, Joe. Don't forget to love each other. Make, you know, lift each other up. Don't break each other down. Have a good night, y'all.